Hey y'all, welcome to my channel. I'm Shawnee and this is a nail sanctuary. If you've been here before, then you know that it's been a while since I've made a video, but we are back in action. Today's video, I'm doing a haul of some things that I bought a few months ago. I just never got around to showing them. So let's get straight into it. I'm not gonna talk y'all heads off. First thing up first, I did buy some nail polishes from Nail Addict LA. So I bought five nail polishes from this company and in the past I did say that I wasn't really interested in buying nail polishes but I have gotten more into it as I've become more interested in making press on nails. This first one is called Paris in Love. It's like a mauve pink, very pretty and it will look nice on some press ons or just on some nails period. I haven't used it yet but that is the way that it looks. The next out of the bunch is called Lucky Bamboo. It'll be great for some summer nails and right now for spring also. And um, maybe even fall too, you could pull this off. I really like this a lot. Next up, I have one called Pretty Something. It's like a wine red type of color, a very deep um red and this is very beautiful i think this will be great for like fall and winter time this one is called playground it's an iridescent type of color it's not really going to show up that well on camera but i did try to get a shot of the way that it looks when I bought this, I, it made me think of unicorns like immediately. So I'll probably use this in some unicorn nails that I've kind of had an idea for for a while. So we'll see about that. The last one is called Sea Swing and Sun. And this one is a new polish. I was really excited about this one because it looks great as a base for the press on nails that i've been making i've used this one a lot so far so if you follow me on instagram you've seen me use this in the press on nails that i posted now let's get into the amazon portion of this haul i got these sanding bands from uh, the brand McCart. And these are the 80 grit, 150 grit, and 250 or 240 grit, excuse me. And I bought these because, you know, these are essential for prep for me. The 150 grit is, and then the others will come in handy for other uh, parts of the nail process that I might need them for. But mainly for that 150 grit, I got them for that. And these sanding bands did come with a mandrel bit, but I have used it already. As you can see, the 150 grit uh, box is already open. I believe the mandrel bit was in that and I have been using it with the sanding bands. I also bought some more files and these are the 150 grit files. I bought these because this grit is safe to use on the natural nail and sometimes I don't like pulling out my drill and I just want to go in and hand file. So I will use those to prep my natural nails. I almost forgot to mention that there are 50 files in this pack so that will come in handy because you know you shouldn't be reusing files you should be disposing them after you are done so I will have plenty to use I also bought some poly gel you all know that I like to use poly gel from time to time I have been more into using press on nails lately but I did want to get some more poly gel. This is just a clear poly gel from Savaland. And I bought two of these. I'm only showing one in the video, but I bought two of this same from this brand. So once I use that, I'll let you all know. And I also bought another uh, poly gel from another company, but it won't be featured in this video. I, I can't find it. So moving on, I have another product from Savaland. This is a nail kit 
Now, if y'all are familiar with the brand I Pray, I believe that's how it's pronounced. They make the Gelex extension kits. I know that there's a lot of videos out there for that. This is supposed to be a dupe for that. Kind of like the Beatles kit that I've seen a lot of people using on YouTube. But I will be making a full dedicated video on this. So stay tuned for that. Now I've mentioned press on nails already. Y'all know that that is my go to right now because I like to change my nails very frequently. Like literally multiple sets within a week. So I like to make press ons that way I can just you know, I can wear them for three weeks if I want to, or if I want to wear them for a few days, I can do that and then take them off and then switch up if I want to. So these right here are my go-to full cover nail tips. I use these for all of my press-on applications. They are my favorites right now. I am looking for some that are of a different shape so I can do some different types of press-ons, maybe some stiletto shapes, but these right here are my go-to right now. You've seen me use them. All of the press-ons that I made recently were made with these. I also bought some tapered square nail tips. That's what these are right here. This is my first time buying nail tips of this shape. So I'll be giving these a try on my channel. I'll try them on myself and also on my practice hand just to see how I like them. I don't typically do the tapered square nail shape. So I'll be trying this out and you will see that in the future video. And of course, I have more full cover nail tips for press-ons. These are by BTR Box, and I've heard a lot of good things about this brand of nail tips, so I wanted to give them a try. These are also coffin-shaped, but they are shorter than the other ones that I showed, and I can't wait to use these for some shorter nails that I have in mind, so I will be using these and letting you know how I like them in future videos. Now I have some nail jewels. These are like little crowns and like embellishments that you can put on the nails. I've actually used some of these on the Beyonce nails that I did. You can see those over on my Instagram page. But these right here are very nice. I like them a lot. They're kind of hard to glue onto the nail. Uh, just because of the way that they're made and the way that they're shaped. So I had a little bit of trouble doing that, but overall I do like them. Next up, I have some more of these fake nail tips that I use for my practice hand. They mimic the natural nail because of the color, and I prefer these over the ones that come with the practice hand. Right here, I have some more nail charms. These are kind of like the chrome hearts designs, and then there's some bugs in there and some stars shapes so i really like these for nails i'm actually about to do a set on myself where i will be using the chrome hearts designs this was something that i was really excited to buy when i first purchased because at the time this design was trending it is the zodiac signs these would definitely come in handy for some birthday nails i'm a cancer so maybe around my birthday i will try these out and we'll see how it works out i believe this came with two sets so i think that there are two for each sign but yeah this is just something different to try out on the nails
Moving along, I got another stand to make press-ons with. And I actually don't even think I have these anymore. This video is super old and I think I've already lost a lot of these. So um, I'm gonna have to go back to using my other station, my other one that is more stationary. Now I have my Kalinske brush. This is by Nails by Nay. And she makes some, or she has some great uh, nail products. This is the number 14 brush. And then lastly, I have, which is probably one of my top favorite top coats. It is the Glossit and the Matted by Not Polish. They are both amazing like the gloss it it does what it says it glosses it and the matte it does what it says it mats it very well so these are definitely a must-have for me in my nail routines they've gotten a lot of use and will be a repurchase always for me at least for now so that is everything that I purchased. Make sure you follow me on Instagram. I am Naomi Sean on all social medias, TikTok included. And I hope you all have a wonderful year. I'm happy to be back on YouTube and I will talk to you later.